Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of PGA Tour 2K23. We are about to start round two of the Northwest Open at Chestnut Hollow. Round one didn't go exactly as planned. We're still in a bit of a slump where we're getting a lot of bogeys and not playing very well as we didn't do in the RBC Championship. We've had a lot of opportunities to get birdies and we missed a couple of birdies and that cheated on a couple of birdies. Our rival, Harold Garner III, still putting up quite the challenge, quite the fight with us. Tiger has already rocketed to the top of the leaderboard. He's a main championship and he's at minus 10. We've got a lot of work to do in the next three rounds. Let's go golf. UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Northwest Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Please, you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity today. They do. They need to get out there, though, and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative all week long. And you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start doing that, I don't see them uh, catching the leaders. Well, it's time for the preamble to be set aside. Let's get into the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Oh, well done. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, golf well, clap. That's a beauty. The playing field. And Henny, what are they looking at here? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. This one's dialed in. Oh, that's frustrating. Downhill, all the way, down grain just a bit. They let it get away from him. Might need to get the feel back on the putting green. Oh, I love these momentum putts right on 10 feet. Let's go hold it. A double bogey to start this round. Hey, nice looking line. It was on a good line. Well, that's disappointing. This putt's for double. Surely it's going to. That's a good putt to make, that one. Luke, that had all kinds of ugly on that one. Not too sure how they're going to rebound from this one. OK, as we move along, it's Tiger on top of the leaderboard. Chance here to reclaim a bit of focus after that double at the last. The harmony on that swing was awesome. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. The breeze is moving left to right up there. Choosing the 9-iron here. This one is heading towards the nasty stuff. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? This one is all over it. Okay, let's get back to the action. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Time now for the fourth shot. Back to back double bogeys. We're a superstar the golfer. will make these right on five feet. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey.
sitting at seven over for the event. Not much happening, moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Teeing off here at the third hole. Opting for the six iron. All right, we're going with an extra club here. That's just inside the range. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. This is on a stupendous line. Steady on. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. This is a bogey putt coming up. Sitting at eight over par for the event. Here we are at the fourth hole. Oh, Luke, that was a stonker there. From about 200 yards out. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Going with the five wood. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varner III. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. 16 feet to the cup. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This putt is of nine feet. This for par. Looking good so far. And the entire field looks up at that familiar sight and sees the name of Tiger Woods on top. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Henny, what's the player facing here? Yeah, the breeze ruffling their shirt, hitting their back. It's going to be tough to control the distance here. Going for less club here. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Not a bad line, this. Super shot, that. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Time to tee off at the sixth. Luke, I got to say, though, the big hitters that are not afraid to challenge that stream going down the left-hand side, they could reduce this to almost nothing. This fairway is firm and fast, and that golf ball will chase out forever. You must avoid the bunkers down the right-hand side, though, if you've got any chance or any hope of going for this green in two coming up just a little bit shy of the green is actually a good leave leaves a simple pitch shot to a very long and slightly undulating green no harm no foul there with that shot and here we are with the third shot Pretty good shot there. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. This for a birdie birdie run. Maybe some time on the practice green wouldn't hurt. Time for the fifth shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? And this one will be for bogey. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way?
Oh, I like the look of this. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. Here we are in front of a par three. Opting for the three wood. This is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. It's fair to say that putt got away from them, didn't it? Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This one for bogey. In it goes, and that's unfortunately back-to-back -back bogeys. They're making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. A little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if he can bounce back. This hole is a par four. <laughs> Time for the second shot at the eighth. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? And this putt coming up for his par. And now let's head over to Harold Varner the third. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Big chance here. Yes, they've made it. Oh, they were just feeling this from the get-go. That is how you do it. Phenomenal stuff. What a putt. Time now to take in the ninth hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much higher. They're definitely going to have to club up. This one might need to sit. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. What an opportunity to make a birdie. All righty, Rich. This is crunch time. We're through nine holes today, and this player's on the wrong side of the cut line. Luke, right now they're so far below the cut line, it's going to take a miracle for them to stick around. Oh, my. That was launched. Second shot here on the tenth hole. Getting ready to play their third. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Look, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. That was a gallant attempt. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. 
This is important. Big par putt here. That gets the job done. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Ouch, that hurts. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the 11th. Well played, mate. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Opting for the 9-iron. This looks to be heading to the green. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Puff of breeze moving this golf ball left to right. Going with the eight iron here. This one heading towards the green. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Starting to look really good. There's no doubt about this rivalry. It's certainly heating up. That has moved them within touching distance of their rival. And all of them are chasing Tiger once again as we move to the next. Going with the five iron here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Ooh, that almost went down. And this would be a great par putt if you can make this. Ooh, nice line. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. And a very familiar sight, Tiger Woods on top of the leaderboard. Next up is a par four, always a stern test. That's nicely done. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Breeze coming right into his melon. Seems to have chosen the three wood. You like that, didn't you? What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Firm, back, up the hill. This will be a good one. Ooh. An opportunity to make their par. Oh, just missed. This putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. This is on a great line. That wasn't your best effort, was it? A double bogey putt in front of them. It's looking solid. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry. But can he stay that way? Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. This tall player is just streets ahead now our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage welcome to this hole that's a par four that one's heading down broadway Second shot here on the 14th. Mm. 
Going with the pitching wedge here. We need this one to bounce right. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. And just about eight feet left to the hole. A little birdie look in here. Hey, that's a chance. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look at HV3. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, that's going to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. And he's hit that inside the range. Well, this will be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. OK, steady now. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. Just didn't drop it. Putting now for a bogey. And down it goes. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot. Currently on top of things right now. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. Second shot here on the 16th. That a boy. Good shot. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Like the look of this one. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Birdied their last hole. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Opting for the five wood. Come on, sit. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? This one's for bogey. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Look who's stalking us all on top of the leaderboard. It's Tiger Woods. And now teeing off on the final hole of this round. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. <laughs> Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third.
That's tidy. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Ooh, right by the hole. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. It was on a good line. And this next putt, it's for bogey. This one started out on a good line. That signs off on this player's performance for the day. Well, unfortunately, this week was not their best. It's a missed cut. It's a sinking feeling when you go out there and you just don't have it. You miss the cut. Trunk slamming it is what they used to call it. Um, either way, it's just not a good feeling and hopefully better days ahead. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to win a tournament when you have six bogeys and three double bogeys in a round. We deserve to be cut from this tournament the way that we played. That's two bad tournaments in a row. Not going to beat Harold Runner the third this time around. It's going to take us another tournament to do it. Tiger Woods, he's in the lead at minus 18. Lucas Herbert at minus 13. Brooke Henderson is at minus 12. And Justin Lower is at also minus 12. As for us, we're going on to the next one. That's going to bring today's video to the close. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.